Zen, Zen, Zen! Yeah, I'm on. I'm Nolan Dibbon. Careful, Zen, I'm on. I'm Nolan Edwards. My tag is Paintbrush, and I'm a main support player for the Dallas Fuel. So I chose Paintbrush because I, you know, I was grinding ranked a lot at the time, and I really needed a name change for, you know, some some secret reasons that maybe we we won't talk about. Nothing like super toxic or anything. I can't say that. Uh, so, in college, I had two housemates at the time, and I got this haircut that was kind of like really short on the sides, long on top. And my friends were they were cooking me one day. They were making fun of me, and they called. They called me a paintbrush. They said I kind of looked like a paintbrush. And when the time came to name change, it just kind of made sense. It was kind of a meme and then I kind of stuck with it. I like the two syllables. I always liked the idea of having a tag that was kind of like a kind of an object. So it just worked out well. So my path to get to Dallas Fuel, I started grinding the game in college, maybe my junior year, I think it was. I played a lot in tier three. I started a team called No Clout with uh, two of my friends at the time, Hypnot and Hawk. Um, you'll know Hawk from Atlanta Rain and Hypnot, he was playing for Maryville, I believe. I kind of grinded with them for a few months and then I got a trial with Mayhem Academy and I realized that was a very unique opportunity that I didn't want to pass up. So I took the chance, I withdrew from university in my senior year, about seven courses left to finish my degree and kind of just stuck it out, you know, gave it my all, did whatever I could to win. Uh, ended up staying with Mayhem Academy for, I think, three, four seasons came out of there, made a team with some of the guys called Revival. If you follow tier two, you know that that team didn't do too well. You know, that was a one in six season for us. We were projected to do a lot better. It, it was a rough season. And then going into the Owl Trials at the end of the year, uh, got a good chance with Gladiators, played really, really well in the, uh, in the trial season. And yeah, I just kind of showed what I was worth, got a chance with Gladiators and got traded halfway through season three. So here we are. My first reaction when I, was, when I heard I was coming to Dallas was, I was super, super excited. I have family here in Dallas, and obviously I've heard super good things about Dallas as an org coming uh, from a team where I was teammates with OG. I was really excited for it, and at the same time, I was really upset because I was leaving a lot of my friends on Gladiators, you know, a culture that we had worked really hard to build up was something that I, I wasn't gonna be a part of anymore. I know, like, I'm always gonna be friends with those guys, I'm always, you know, always gonna have a special like relationship with them as past teammates. But I think ultimately I was just super, super excited to like get a new chance and you know, a new opportunity to build a new team environment. I wanna say that the biggest thing I bring to the team is just some leadership qualities, which is kind of a weird thing to say because in a way I've never viewed myself as a leader, just more of, you know, one of the guys grinding, like willing to do anything I can to, you know, make the win happen. But I, I really think my ability to like voice my opinion and speak up and you know be one of the first guys to talk when you know maybe someone else is a little hesitant. I, I, I really think that's like the biggest thing. Let's have a look at Dallas, their starting lineup here, Matt, because there is a new inclusion. Yes, yeah, so they make a trade or, uh, well, it's not really a trade, but uh, nothing goes back the other way. They acquire a uh, paintbrush <laughs> uh, from the Gladiators uh, and he's going to be in the lineup today. Before the first match, man, I was nervous. I was so insanely nervous. There's so many things going through my head, like, I didn't want to let the team down. You know, I wanted to have a good debut. Obviously, I had the game with Gladiators that, you know, against Boston didn't go the way we wanted. So I saw this as a fresh start, but I went into the match and I realized that sooner or later, I'm going to feel comfortable. So why not start now? So about halfway through the set, I felt that like, I don't know, I just, I just felt super comfortable like halfway through the set, but really, really nervous going into it. I think that's the best way to explain it. You know, week one, there's always these kind of growing pains, as we'll call it, when a new player comes into a roster, you're learning how each other plays, you're getting used to each other, getting more comfortable. But the rest of the season is gonna look good. We got a good set of guys, we're ready to grind, and you know, I'm confident that we're gonna make it happen. And I'm super excited to be in Dallas, man. I love the state of Texas, I love the city, hate the heat. The heat is terrible and I want nothing to do with it, but it's okay, I'll accept that flaw because I love the rest of it. There's a rumor going around about me right now that I'm going to get traded to a certain team. And, you know, I have some really big news to share with you guys. So, uh, yeah, you guessed it. Uh, we got a gym. Oh, I don't think I'm interesting to watch at all, man. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. There's a weird thing about being in front of the camera that I like and like making memes, but 
I'm always super, super worried that like my content isn't gonna be good enough. So it, it makes me hesitate on like putting new things out. But this quarantine, dude, for some reason, this quarantine has got me doing some weird stuff that like I haven't even posted. Like the cardboard box thing, like with the, the cardboard couch or like the eating Jack in the box off my chest. That's like, that's like the surface of the of the things I've done. Dude, if I'm alone in my apartment, I'm going crazy. I, uh, I think that's the best way to explain it. This quarantine is going wild. So you're telling me that the fans have just seen the beginning? Yeah, I think so. <laughs>